Compiling ActionScript into a SWIFT or some other format is a fairly straightforward process, but debugging your compiled code can be somewhat of a mystery. In this lesson, we'll examine how to do both from within Flash Builder. So we have this project here, and nothing's really happening in here, but that's okay. We're not getting any errors in our problems dialog down here. We can actually compile this project if we want to. So the way you do that within Flash Builder is you go up to Project, and you say Export Release Build. And then depending upon the type of project that you have, is going to influence the types of dialog options you have here. So you can see that we can create a signed error application if we want to. In this case, I'm going to choose an intermediate airy file because I don't want to have to deal with signing my application or anything like that right now. If our intention was to create a SWIFT targeting Flash Player, we actually wouldn't even have these options. It would just, you know, create a basic SWIFT for us. You don't have to sign a SWIFT file or anything like that. But if you're targeting Air, you do. So let's hit Next here. And you can see here's where we would sign it. We can choose our specific contents. So we need the SWIFT file and we need the application descriptor file in the case of an Air application. Again, with Flash Player, you would just have a SWIFT, so it's a lot simpler. And then if we had native extensions, you could include those here. So let's hit Finish. So we can see here that our, our file, our ARI file, has actually been created for us right here. And if we were publishing to SWIFT or some other format, it would appear right here as well, unless we specified in our release settings a different directory. This is the default. So what if we want to actually debug this? Well, Flash Builder has a special Flash debug mode. And if this doesn't appear for you, you can always go in here and choose Flash Debug, and it will. But if we switch over to this, we can see here's our class file. But we also get this debug window up here. And we've got a pane that includes things like variables, breakpoints, and expressions. So what we'll want to do is have a look at two different options for debugging ActionScript files within Flash Builder. One is a simple trace statement. So to use that, you just say trace, and then you open up parentheses, and then you pass in some sort of data. So we're just going to pass in some string information here, saying hello flash, and each line should terminate with a semicolon here. If you don't terminate it with a semicolon, Flash is actually pretty nice about it. It's not going to not compile it for you but it's best practice to do so. So now that I have this trace statement, if I go up here, we can actually run, which will compile this and show it to us. So let's look at that first. So here's the application, our little error file here, and you can see nothing actually happens. In the console window, we don't see that, that information that we're tracing out. And the reason for that is because to see any trace information in Flash Builder, you actually have to debug it instead of run it. So it's a small difference. Let's terminate that process. And right next to run is debug. So here we can debug AS3 sample. So let's try that. OK. So here you see it runs in a little window just like it did before. But now we actually have hello flash traced out in our console window here. And we've got some other information about the actual Swift that was compiled. So you can actually trace out any sort of information you want. Trace out different variables, any sort of data. So one other very useful thing that you're going to need to know about debugging are breakpoints. So to set a breakpoint in Flash Builder, you basically double click in this little gutter here, and it'll set a little blue marker. Something you can also do, by default, line numbers don't show within Flash Builder. I tend to like line numbers because then I can target specific lines very easily. So I always turn line numbers on by just right-clicking in that gutter and choosing Show Line Numbers. So I've got a breakpoint set on line 9, which is our trace statement here. So let's debug once again, 
And you can see from this little arrow that we've actually paused on that breakpoint. And here we can expand this variables window and look down into our project. So as you can see here, our class file is actually extending Sprite. So we're getting all the different properties that are inherited from Sprite here. So X and Y position, width, visible, height, these sorts of things. If we were to declare our own specific variables, we would actually see these here as well. So let's terminate this process. We could always, of course, resume, which would go through even more of the application, but there really isn't any more. So we'll terminate. So this has been an example of how to both compile a release build from Flash Builder, as well as debug projects that are currently being developed.